So iOS 18.2 will soon be available with new features and changes coming to the iPhone. Now we already know that one of the major focus will be Apple Intelligent for Apple Intelligent devices. But in this video, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna focus on devices that do not support Apple Intelligence. I'm going to share with you guys the top five best new features and changes coming to iPhone with iOS 18.2 other than Apple Intelligence. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, we're going to have a brand new redesign mail application on iPhone. So when you launch the emails application on your device running iOS 18.2, you'll get a new emails application redesign. As you see right here, we have your primary emails. It gives you a description of what that means. We have your transactions for all your receipts. We also have right here all the updates that you may have from previous emails. And you also have promotional emails available here. And each individual section does have a description explaining exactly what each category is. Now on the top right section here, if you don't like the new design, you can always go back to the list view, which will show you all your emails as you can see right there. But I think a lot of users are gonna really dig the new redesign categories in the new emails application with iOS 18.2. Now we're also getting a major update coming to the Find My Network. You'll now be able to share your items location with a trusted person or an airline. Yes, under the Find My Network with iOS 18.2, you'll be able to generate a link which you can later send to an airline or a trusted person to help you retrieve an item. This is very useful, obviously, if you're traveling and you lose your luggage, you'll be able to send a link generated in the Find My Network to the airline. And Apple is working with 15 major airlines as of right now in order to provide this service for iPhone users. And this will be available with iOS 18.2. I think this is a huge update in order to track your item's location using the Find My Network. Now with iOS 18.2, Apple has also added a new volume limit to iOS and iPadOS. And I know a lot of parents out there with small children are going to love this new option. So jump into settings, head on over into sound and haptics. And if you scroll down, you now have the new option right there. It is volume limit. And this will limit the audio output from the physical speakers on your iPhone when you're playing videos, music or movies and things like that. So even if you have an iPad, this will also work right there. It is on the top right. You can enable the option. You can choose anywhere from 20 to 90% limit. And this will not impact any emergency alerts or ringtones or anything like that. This is only for movies, TV shows and songs and things like that. So you can limit the audio output from the physical speaker built in to your iPhone and iPad with iOS 18.2 brand new volume limit. Now, speaking of audio, Apple brought back the new media control for audios on the lock screen of your device. So as you see right now, we have the media controls for Apple Music, but if we jump into settings with iOS 18.2, head on over to accessibilities, and we head on over into the audio and visual options, right here it is, you have the option to always show the volume controls for that media player. So this is what it looks like right now, but if I go ahead and enable this option right here, I can now control the actual volume directly from the lock screen. Now it does take a minute to actually kick in, there it is, so there it is, I can actually control the audio directly from the media player within iOS 18.2, but you must enable this option in order to get those volume slider media controls on the lock screen of your device. Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about the Photos application. So let's head on over into video because the video player has been updated as well. So we'll have an iPhone here running iOS 18.1, and this one here is running 18.2. So I wanna go ahead and play both videos to show you exactly what the changes are. So take a look here. On the right, obviously, we have iOS 18.1, and on the left, we have iOS 18.2. So you see here, when I tap on the screens, you see that it fills the screen on the older version of iOS, and when I tap it again, it zooms back out, and it shows you all of your controls. Now, with iOS 18.2, you can just tap. It won't affect the actual display here size. It'll only bring up the media controls, so the behavior is different on iOS 18.2, as you can see right here. So we're playing both videos, as you can see. And one of the videos, when I tap, zooms in and out on the latest OS, it only removes the media controls, but it still remains the same size, which I think I like more the new update because it brings it back to what it was before. And there you guys have it. These are top five changes in iOS 18.2 coming to iPhone for devices without Apple intelligence. Now, iOS 18.2 is rumored to be releasing on December 2nd or even December 9th. We're not sure just yet, but of course, stay tuned here to the channel because the software will be releasing in less than a month after the filming of this video, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.